I'm sorry. These cameras are going to capture everything. The good, the bad, the ugly. Nothing is off limits. Really? You're going to let him film your weekly bubble bath time? Bubble? That is my one safe place. Well, I'm not gay, and that's what I said. If I'm gay, hey, God, strike me dead. You know? <laughs> It was something I remember in my, when I went to audition, I did like my first take, and Emerald was like, that's really good, like yes, like Ryan should be very nervous around her, and I'm like, yeah, that's a choice I'm making. That's, that's a conscious choice I'm making right now. Confidence, poise, smile. He's like if a serial killer fucked an inspirational speaker. He's like Daniel Day-Lewis, except he sucks. <laughs> the scene that seems the most casual, yeah. where you're doing, it's, it's, hard, it's hard to do nothing on camera, but I succeeded. <laughs> <laughs> At one point, movies were trying to represent reality, and now reality is representing, is trying to imitate movies' representation of reality. I have no idea where I'm going with this. <laughs> Hans Taylor. Can you do a little bit of this thing? Uh, he's a Dutch absurdist. Uh, one of the things he does is uh, he brings out a, a sock puppet, which is a black sock. See, already, I don't like him. Yeah, no. All right, all right, it's a, it's a white sock. Oh, and then, uh, <laughs> the, uh, and I look at kids on their phone, and my first instinct is, why, is, why are they on their phone? It's like, yeah, why would you want to look up at the world right now? <laughs> really, for real. Like, of course. Look at the world you made for these kids to look up at. No wonder they're burying their head in the sand. On that very light note. <laughs> <laughs> Performance anxiety and stage fright has sort of bled into kids' normal lives. God, that sweater looks good. This first song is called A World on Fire. <laughs> this next song is a little bit, a little bit longer than that one. I knew Susan as well as any of you. She was black. She was, she was black, okay? She was black. Deal with it, Dad. Consider this. Zach. <laughs> when she graduated eighth grade, a week later, we filmed the movie, and then a week after, she went to her freshman year of high school, and she didn't get cast in her school play. Really? <laughs> so, I, so I promised her I'd do this. Uh, Mr. Donia from Thousand Oaks High School, f*** you. <laughs> So the fact that it's had such a positive receival... Re re <laughs> Shut up. Reception. You know what? Reception! I'm trying to get my... I'm, I'm getting really bad receival in here, but... <laughs> we just played in Alabama. They just like the lights. I didn't even need to do jokes. <laughs> Motherfuckers got moving candles. No, not quite. Gotta warn you guys, though, the cameras do add a few pounds... ...of muscle. Oh, Zach Stone's got muscle. Oh, ladies! Well, this is how your arms stand when you got lots of muscles. All right. I'm living my dreams! Wow! Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez were in the audience, is that right? Yeah, uh, I didn't know that they were there. I didn't know we knew my stuff. I didn't know Bieber personally. But um, it was in the Largo, which is the theater here. Yeah, it's a no, small I've done theater. that theater. It's not huge, it's pretty small. Yeah, and I have a bit in my act that sort of makes fun of Justin Bieber and some of these young pop stars. Basically, it's a song, and it mocks the way that those songs are written, which I think is... What, what the songs basically do is they they're love songs to girls, and they describe the girls as vaguely as they possibly can, so that every girl can think that that song's about them. So yeah. it's like, it's like I love how your fingerprints are different than everybody else's, and like I love how your eyes have that like bluish, brownish, greenish color, and your and like your torso is an arm on either side of it, or like whatever. <laughs> um, and did then, he? Did he? Did they appreciate? Did you find out if they were mad or anything? Well, the thing is, it is. That seems sort of harmless, but then it kind of gets a little darker and sort of accuses these, these young pop artists of being part of this cycle where girls read magazines, feel terrible about themselves because it says, you know, you should be skinnier, you should be prettier. They feel terrible. And then these uh, pop stars tell them that they're perfect and that they're beautiful in the songs, they buy the song. And then the pop stars on the cover of the magazines, they buy a magazine again. So they're like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> And it's sort of just like this vicious cycle. And I basically, like, it's, uh, Sort of imply that he's working for Satan or whatever. Um, <laughs> to womanize, because you know it's true that when you look in their eyes, you see their people too. Mother effing suffrage. Mother effing suffrage. I hate Thank you.
thank you very much. Um, to the other uh, nominees in the category, um, have fun at the Oscars, losers. No. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. not work in mysterious ways. He works in direct, technical ways, actually. That was fucking incredible. I got my pickup truck, driving really fast, yellow ribbon on my bumper, Jesus on the deck. America, mom, America, mom, pick up, mom, 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 America. You guys like impressions? You like impressions? Why? That was Socrates. I moved to um, Hollywood recently from Boston, where I grew up, and places, and I, <laughs> I... For never understanding or learning, every day can't be about him, there's other people, you selfish ass. Must be psychotic. Hello, this is Zach, I just beat a tough guy up, what's your name? <laughs> <laughs> you don't blame me? I'll call her right now, okay? She's actually working. She works at a place where people die and are born. Yeah, it's not a hospital. Okay, um, well, how can I make that for you? Let us have dinner tonight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Avocado shirt should I wear to the dinner? Here's ketchup. On the streets of London, cooking on <laughs> cobblestone. <laughs> and it's always one of two things on celebrity lip syncing. It's either a male celebrity lip syncing to a woman's song, <laughs> but he's not. Or it's... I feel like hip hop used to be a voice for the voiceless, you know? Yes! Voiceless. <laughs> oh yeah, this guy's here. Finally, we've been waiting for him to show up. Like, you wait in the game? Forget it. I mean, no. <laughs> you had your chance. <laughs> if I had a million dollars, I'd pay your mother to have sex with me. Afterwards, I'd probably invest the remaining $999,990, $10 for sex with your mother, comedy. It's, I smell comedy. Well, it was comedy giving off that scent. A lesser comedian would have milked that for four verses. And a better comedian wouldn't have done it at all. This is about sex, which I've had. Who else has had sex here? Give me a hey yeah. All right, so, hey, yeah. this is pretty good. No, sh really? But I can do comedy without stupid gimmicks or anything, and it can still work. So uh, this is for all those comics out there, and judge this. Uh, what do you call a kid with no arms and an eye patch? <laughs> Names. <laughs> Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, head, shoulders, knees, and toes, turn up your nose, strike that pose. Hey, Macarena. Macarena. <laughs>